Breakfast of champions. Yeah, microwaving it should be boiling it, but don't get the time. <laughs> okay, what kind of hair are we doing today? Um, uh, Arma. All right. There we go. <laughs> I need two, Julie. Thank you. Come on, baby. Up door. Let it go. Let it go. Let <laughs> it stone. All right, sit. Here I stand. Get it, girl. Liest. Let the stone break. The cold never be. <laughs> Just can't a hold morning it concert, back. you know. Let me more. Let, Let it go. go. Let, Let it go. It. Huh? I don't like it. <laughs> okay. I don't. I think you're a little bit Let off key go. over there, Josh. Is that what it is? I think Let so. It doesn't go like that, Mom. Yeah, it looks good. You look. You look just like Anna. But mommy. Shh. Did you hear that? No. You didn't hear it? Is that Chuck? No. What? It was not Chuck. It was Bruce. Oh no. Right there. Outside our kitchen window. Again. Whenever we get to enjoy a beautiful sunrise, which is just about every day, unless it's super overcast, yeah. it's always kind of uh, interesting because it reminds us of when we were living in the RV for you know, two years and seeing the sunset through that view and always talking about one of these days we're gonna be drinking our coffee and waking up inside the house and getting to I mean, see it from there's there. There's no comparison though. There's not, but it just feels so good I mean, because- When you have a window in that RV, harm, sweetheart. It's that big. I know. With a, with a shade on it, I mean, it kind of sucks. It does. So, that's nice. We've come so far. Yes, we have. <laughs> Good morning to you, Bruce. <laughs> How you doing? You're tearing things up out here again, aren't you? Like, I really just don't know, guys, because we have acres and acres of pasture, and yet here, right outside our kitchen window or our back door, is where he decides to hang out. It's the way it is. It's the way it always is. Here he comes now. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, big guy. How you doing? How you doing on this fine day? You good? You got some good rubs, don't you? <laughs> do you think I could ride him in the saddle? Get a saddle for him? Would you want a saddle and I, I could ride on you? And Josh, yeah. like, you, you need a horse. Look at him. But he just he just like laying his head in, on know. me. He loves it. See, this is why he comes up here, because you keep giving him morning scratches. Oh, big guy. How you doing? Loves it. For those of you who don't know, this is our steer named Bruce. My best friend named Bruce. He um he previously, if you've been following us for a while from our other channel, he was in a mobile pen that was like a cow tractor um, it was all pretty much like steel and cattle panels and we could move it from one section of pasture to the next so that he would continuously have fresh grass but he was in up against a hard fence so he could not get out of it and it helped to train him to an electric fence which is flimsy and you know he's so big if he wanted to get out of electric netting he could just walk right through it however since he was trained to a hard pen first it's like this psychological thing where he couldn't get out of that, so he just assumes that he can't get out of the electric fencing. So, long story short, we moved him from the training pen to the um, electric fencing, and he's been in that for a long time now. Months and months and months. Yes, um, and the reason that he was pinned up was just because he was like going through a young teenage stage, like a lot of animals, especially males do, and they get a little bit buck wild. It can be dangerous for us. So it was better for everybody for him to be in there. However, as you can see, he is now just a big... Big baby, gigantic, <laughs> big old baby. He loves this. He does. <laughs> so we've recently just let him let him out to see how he would do. We have downsized greatly on the amount of sheep that we have, so we don't have a ton of animals out on the pasture in comparison to the size that the pasture is. So they're not gonna cause, you know, a bunch of damage. They're not gonna overgraze that pasture with one cow and a, few handful a handful of, sheep. of yeah. sheep. So he's out and we're seeing how he, he does. However, the issue is obviously this, like he's supposed and to be in the pasture, not out my back door. He has, he has horns, but he's a lover. 
He is, but we don't want him. We don't want him up here. You know no. what I mean? This is like we're. I eventually we want to do a a fixed fence that goes all the way around the pasture, but blocks us or blocks Look, him just, off from the just house. Just laying his head on me. You see that? So, anyways. You okay, big guy? Bruce says good morning, and now, my friend, it is time to get you some water and bring you back to the pasture where you belong. Come okay. On, let's go. Come on, big guy. Like a big puppy dog just follows you wherever you go you know <laughs> come on big guy come on brewster Yeah. Oh, his breath is wretched. He was burping earlier. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god. <laughs> I inhaled it. You're eating too much grass, dude. He's loving that. He's so much bigger than you are in this camera. That guy is a beast. Too short. We bought off Amazon. I thought it was a, a six or seven foot, but with my height, I'm, I'm like six two. Yeah, right. So I don't think we're not <laughs> you can see how dirty these solar panels can get from time to time. So occasionally, we gotta clean them. So every so often, every few weeks, we like to come through here, use a squeegee, clean up a little bit. And uh, the main issue is we have a driveway, a dirt driveway going right past the panels. We first moved here, and we wanted, we wanted to put the house, I guess the position of the house. The easiest route was come off that road right there and come straight up, right? <laughs> yeah. So, since we've got the panels in place, it collects a lot of dirt, because all the dirt comes up. Now that we're in the house, the plan is to eliminate this driveway, right? Yeah, get rid of it. Get rid we, of we have time. I mean, prior to this, the focus was the house. That was the priority. Yeah. So it was kind of like wherever the driveway is, and we, it is. Yeah, it was easiest route to drive through the grass that way. With cause we moved here, it was a very, very wet spring. So this is probably the, the least amount of incline we had yeah. coming up. So it's hard to get up here at first. But now that the driveway is in, it's easy to get through. But since the house is done, I think we can delete this driveway, turn it back into pasture. Yeah. And pretty much do the, I think a quarter of the length of this driveway here and put it on that side. So we'll be getting a lot more pasture back by putting a new driveway in. Yeah, plus it's just gonna be a better view out those windows. We're not yes. gonna be driving past the solar panels, collecting any dust. Yeah. So the plan is, which I don't think you guys probably can't see where you're at, but the driveway, we have another road of ours that comes down on the other side of this tree line, mm -hmm. on the other side of the pasture. And so we would follow that down and then come up back here to what actually the front door of the house which is going to be nice and more convenient it's going to be better looking and just make more sense when, when people are coming over too because it'll pull right up to where we have the porch that we're building on yeah and the sidewalk to the driveway and all of that not to so. mention we'll be getting a lot more pasture back but that's what's the main goal i think too yes it'll be more peas into the eye looking at the front door too yes or the, i'm sorry the front windows and and hopefully less cleaning of this <laughs> I 
think that we are either in, if not a couple days away from being in peak fall colors. Yes. Right the only, there. The only th way to ruin this is a good wind gust or a strong rain. Yes. It's all ruined. So we're going to take advantage of it now, as you guys can see probably behind me. I mean, that, that tree right there is completely golden. Yeah, it's I mean, awesome. it's beautiful absolutely here. beautiful everywhere around us right now. But if we don't take you guys to see the fall colors now, then you're going to miss them. So yeah. we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. Are you comfortable? Do you feel like you have full range movement of your wings? And, and keep in mind, when you're flying, you gotta keep your head down, okay? Yeah. Watch out for the hawks. Watch out for the hawks, because they'll try to get you, okay? Looking good, girl. Are you ready for this? Turn you on? You're a champion. And we're live. This is Henny Penny right here, and she is convinced that with everything going on in the world these days that the sky is falling. So she has volunteered to strap this GoPro to her back, and she is going to be the first chicken ever to take flight over the mountains of West Virginia, where she is actually going to discover that the sky is not falling, but it is quite beautiful this time of year. So are you ready to go, girl? I think that's a go. <laughs> All right, can I get a countdown to launch? Okay. Yeah. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Seasons come, then they go. Like the dust on that old dirt road. I try and fight. Take it slow, but the ground keeps moving on its own. This is the home of all the rentals and everything that we need to basically build our house. So that is a tamper that we just put in the back of the trailer. I'm the professional here, obviously, so I'm going to be using that. Now I'm ready to carve pumpkins. I, I went to go choose the best oh. looking one. Oh, you no. ready to carve Oh them? my goodness. Yeah! <laughs> you know what kind of face you want to do on your pumpkin? Yeah. What face? Smiley face. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to do a smiley wait, wait, face. Wait, wait, it's Halloween. Wait. Here's here's some ideas. We're not going to use my face from the other day, right Josh? <laughs> <laughs> what about that face in the middle? And then you could put some silly teeth in there. Yeah. But will it bite me? <laughs> He's not gonna bite you. So, you gonna stencil something? Or he's gonna you gonna free hand it. Why did they give us stencils? Yeah, and the, and the uh, carving kit. Yeah, but those are like, who's gonna do this? I'm not. I like I don't have enough drinks to deal with that. Okay. Yeah. If we cut this portion out right there, it resembles you. Resembles you. <laughs> oh, you want a wow. Nice that That's mean, a great nose, right between his eyes. That's one heck of a nose if I ever saw one, Ellie. Yes. Right there. Nosey. Fantastic. I'll take um. a whole stuff for that. <laughs> I can see that, I can see me having to come through here and uh, cut everybody's top. And then halfway through, we kind of bounce stuff out. Can we just get the power tools out? Don't you have a saw that can take care of this a lot faster? Saws all the top off? Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Get your hand there, honey. No. Get your hand there. Get your hand there. Put your sleeve up and put your hand there. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh my God! Do it. 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 Do
that bad. Oh, there's pumpkin seeds. It feels kind of cool, right? <laughs> Ew, so. this is a scum. All right, guys. Do you know what kind of faces you're making? Uh, Let's get to work. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh! oh. oh. As you last week. Right there. Yeah. Can we look now? Oh. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh my goodness. That's teeth going out of his eyes. What's in his head? He's got teeth inside. <laughs> yeah. I, I put them in there. You did? Yeah. I drove down all the towns I've wandered all right, guys, we need to set the mood, so what's the right color for that? Green. Orange. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> we have only lived in our home for five months now, but these walls are already full of so many memories. It may not be completely finished yet, but it became home a long time ago. This old house is a castle. That I'll keep in a warm memory Someday I'll be gone and I'll turn in my key and Then I'll be a little piece of the house history and Then I'll be a little piece of the house history No chickens were harmed in the filming no. of this video. <laughs> you did good. You're such a sweet girl.